Identities are constructed linguistically, and they are also performed linguistically. Kelly Gonsalves is a social linguist at the University of Bern, and she's written a book on language and identity among intercultural couples, couples in which the partners come from different language backgrounds. Gonsalves moved to Switzerland in her early 20s, and although she spoke fluent standard German, it took her nearly two years to start speaking and using Swiss German. This is one of the themes she addresses in her book, Conversations of Intercultural Couples, which is based on interviews with Anglophone women married to Swiss German men. One of the women she interviewed is from New Zealand and lives with her family in Interlaken. And you sit the table? Yeah. Okay. Um, One of the questions that I always had for these individuals who are considered to be culturally hybrid, living in the in-between, right? Because um, you're Kiwi, you're Maori, but now you're living here. So what does, that, what does that mean for you? How do you feel as an individual in terms of your identity? Uh, I'm, I guess it's, it's quite a strong part of being Maori to know where where like a family tree I know my I know my roots mm. and that's that's who I am and I've just adapted to the, to the new culture because I because of my husband and my children that, as far as I'm concerned I'm a, I'm Maori mm. my heart is Maori I have a Swiss past but my heart is Maori actually Joyce is very well assimilated into Swiss life She's a ski instructor and married to a mountain guide, Hanno Chabold. But how do you feel with each other communicating? At the beginning, do you have English? No. And do you have Swedish? No. So it was body language? International. International language of love? Whoa. <laughs> If you look at uh, statistics, marriage statistics, in many countries, um, that number is rising, intercultural couples. So where you have one person from one country marrying somebody from a different country. So um, the world is a melting pot, and that's been the case for many, many years. And I think with the era of globalization, where you've got people moving countries for different reasons, um, love and relationship is still a major reason. And um, it does deserve academic scrutiny to look at how these people come to terms with living in a new environment. Although Joy speaks Swiss German fluently, she feels closer to some of her foreign friends than to her Swiss friends. There's more flexibility. In the, I get, I'm not sure if it's my person or it's because I'm from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. I just go, oh, it's going to have a beer. Yeah, but I should really go do the shopping. Oh, come on, let's not. You can do the shopping tomorrow. OK, let's go and have a drink. Yeah. But a Swiss person, they, they have their life more controlled and they have everything organised, very structured. They're more structured. Both Joyce and Hanno had to adapt to each other's world. On the other hand, for their children, switching between cultures is completely natural. Because we're living in Switzerland, German is well, yeah, would be more dominant, mm -hmm. but I feel more comfortable in English because it's like the first language I spoke. My dad is sometimes more serious or he thinks he sees <laughs> yeah, things more sure. realistic than mum. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's kind of more like the optimist and they're like, everything's like, oh, everything's going to be good. And that's, what, and that's how you also think everything's going to be good if you think in English. So if I want to motiva motivate myself, I just think, I just talk English to myself, but if I'm trying to get serious and stay up, st stick to, stay to a focused. plan or stay focused, then I think German. Even if Joyce feels Maori at heart, she knows how to do Swiss. As Joyce said before, she still feels she's very much Maori, and that's it. But yet she's able to perform Swiss when she wants, when she feels like it, because she can, because she's learned the language, she's learned the dialect, she knows how people function here and she knows when to do what. And that has made her life and integration process much easier.